Laptop coolers, do they work? I don't know, man, like I've heard about them. I've heard about them, but one thing I do know is that my laptop gets hot. So with this thing, I'm hoping to push some more FPS. I don't wanna see some good temperature change, then we'll determine whether it's a scam or not. So let's learn a little bit more about this thing. The Lano V12 Ultra laptop cooler. It's got freaking RGB, customizable software, RGB. It's got smart temperature control, turbo pressure cooling technology with a 5.5 inch turbo fan, and it goes up to 2800 RPMs. So this thing's probably gonna be loud. I'm hyped for it. It's designed for bigger laptops, 15.6 inch or above. It's got a removable dust filter so you can clean it, maintain it make sure it keeps running cool it's got dynamic rgb lighting and it's got a bunch of usb ports in it so you can connect different stuff to it it's got three height adjustments 15 degrees 12 degrees and three degrees all right so let's get it open plug it in and then uh, run some tests shall we what is this it's massive what is this user manual and a usb cable usb type a to type c it's long enough. It's got controls down here. Long press for two seconds to power on and off. Switch light modes, turn off. Switch color. It's also got a knob. It's got a display here. This is the fan speed knob. Some sort of stability to lock it in in case the turbo blows away your laptop. And just a Lano symbol. And then there's a fan underneath this. I don't know if you can kind of see like the grill in there underneath or not. It's kind of a hard angle to get. That looks like there's some RGB action happening here. Oh, all the way around. Oh yeah, dude, this is gonna be sick. There's your power connection. There's a type C in, and then you have your three USB 3.0s. We got some adjustable feet. Whoa, and they get even longer. Double length, wow. And then there's the back of the fan, and there's a little dust filter. Oh, it's an extra dust filter for the fan. If you want to clean the fan, you could just... Boom, take that off. Boom, dust filter replaced. It's also got some rubber here. Rubber, rubber, rubber. All right, power block. Pretty long, dude. Wait a minute, props. You guys know how I feel about short cords. It's plenty long. Let's see, pretty RGB, does it just turn on? Do I have to do an on button? I don't know. That's insane. Yo. It's just going? She's just going? Bunch of different modes, dude. Looks way cooler back there, doesn't it? Okay, let's peel the plastic. I'll live life on the edge. Ooh, that's nice. It's at the lowest. Are you guys ready to ramp it up? I'll put the sound test. Wow. I really like this thing actually. I didn't think I would, but here we are. And I like a laptop cooler for some reason. Okay, so now we're just gonna set it up. We're gonna run a benchmark on it, no cooling, and just kind of get our baseline. See you in a sec. Okay, let's go ahead and go to this software. So here you have all the information for the computer, all of your different sensor information here on the right side, and you have your temperatures, and you have a, a temperature curve. We can take a look at that too. You can change the curve to any of the other values that you want. You can go into settings and do a bunch of different stuff in here, change the interface. You can change the sensor, data refresh time, startup delay, you could do auto startup on boot and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you just plug it in and we'll get a little more information once it's plugged in, but that's the basics of the software. So now we're just gonna run a 3D Mark. I found one for integrated graphics, which would probably be pretty good for this. Um, so we'll just go ahead and I'm gonna open up the MythCool app. That's the software for the Lano and we can help record the temperatures there. Okay, we're starting off at 43 degrees. Let's see how hot it gets. 43 degrees or like 91 degrees on the keyboard. It's 
Temperature looks like it peaked at 56 degrees again. GP load 99%. Yeah, this thing was maxed out. Okay, so 1507, and the highest temperature we're seeing is 56 and it was averaging about 52 to 53 degrees. Uh, operating temperature around 40. What do we have right now just sitting here? 42, 40 to 42, just operating temp. And then the bottom here, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. That's after that, after that benchmark. So let's go ahead and plug in the device, open up the software, see what else we can do in the software once it's connected, and then uh, we'll run the benchmarks again. Okay, so Lano up here in the top, it says on. We got the V12 Ultra Laptop Cooler, and then it has a bunch of information. Every different fan modes on this side. We could do AI low mode. That puts it at 550. Medium mode puts it at 825. High mode puts it at 1200. Current speed, 36%. Okay. Put that back on low. Okay, so there's two different modes that I wanted to touch on real quick besides the low, medium, and high mode. There's also custom. Custom mode, the preset temperature curve responds to the fan RPM curve. That main advantage for that one is that it removes the need for manual adjustments. Basically, the cooler automatically adjusts fan speed based on CPU temps. Then in manual mode, obviously, you can just control the, the fan speed. Instead of using the little knob, you can control the fan speed through the software. As opposed to having set speeds, you can just type in whatever that you want. Also, in addition to your three set speeds, you also have your custom, and the custom helps with basically providing intelligent self-regulating cooling. It helps save energy and reduces noise during low load scenarios. So pretty helpful to just turn that mode on and just let it go and don't have to worry about it instead of running full blast all the time when you don't need it. All right, um, then it has your CPU percentage and your temperature and your GPU percentage and temperature. Um, it also has your power consumption and frequency for both. And then it has your DRAM information and your VRAM information. So it's got everything. You can change the lighting, you can turn it off, on, off, on. You can change the solid color, um, or you can change it to a breathing effect, color gradient, or color chase. And that's it, there's your controls. Hey, that's pretty simple. Let me lock this in, dude. Got to make sure it doesn't fly away. Let's go ahead and run the benchmark again. Okay, I just want to play around with this for a minute, I guess. Let's take a look. 35 degrees. Let's see how cool we can get this thing. Still cool, that's how cool it was, still cool. The app's really good for people that like to view their stats and stuff like that. Like before I was just using like the Windows Task Manager and it doesn't give you like any of this information. It gives you a little bit, it gives you like your, it gives you like one temp, it gives you your, your CPU temp and that's it. It doesn't give you much to work with, but this gives you like way more information about your, your uh, PC or whatever, so pretty cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna run the same one as before that we ran the first time but I'm gonna have this max volume, I mean max fan, max speed, and we're gonna see if we can get some better temps out of it. And we'll have the temp up here. full-blown max everything was maxed out cpu clock fully maxed out gpu load 94 percent 95 percent cpu temp never got above 44 degrees that's insane that's what what's 56 minus 42 that's a 14 degree difference on the laptop of the cpu that's insane that's lano helped me reduce the temperatures of my laptop by over 10 degrees and the temperatures of my cpu the surface temp, even my, my keys, the bottom of it, where it sits on my lap. Highly recommend, you could strap it right in. It's got RGB, you could flex on all your friends. You could turn your turbo fan on this thing. If you're a serious laptop gamer, especially if you like to game on a laptop and then run an HDMI cord and the laptop isn't right next to you and the sound doesn't bother you too much, it's a good way to turn your laptop into like a usable little PC with a little bit of extra cooling, make it look all cute and fancy. Way easier to uh, use than I thought it was gonna be. Cool flex RGB. 
and you can just use the buttons. You don't have to use the software, but the software is really easy to figure out. I like the stuff on the software where it gives you like information on the PC. I didn't even have any of those temps available to see really uh, on the Nemo laptop. Like I said, dude, Nemo laptop been an absolute champ. I'll leave a link for this uh, laptop. I made a video on it before, but I'll leave a link for it in the description in case you want to check it out. I mean, it's pretty good, dude. It hasn't been plugged in or anything. It's still over half battery and it's just been doing a whole bunch of benchmarks all day. So I love this thing. I use it at work every day. So in case you're looking for a laptop to put on top of your laptop cooler, uh, check out my Nemo video. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Lano. You guys knocked it out of the park with this one. I really like it. Hope to see you guys in the next tech review. Peace.